Senate pro tempore recommits Liberia to one China policy. Politics Monrovia, Senator Albert G., pro tempore of the Liberian Senate, has recommitted the Liberian government to the one China policy. As the pro temp did that, he encouraged Chinese companies and investors to come and invest in Liberia. Report Henry Carmo, Henry.Carmo at frontpagefrecounline.com. Senator Chi spoke Monday, June 18, during a meeting with an 18 person Chinese delegation accompanied by Grand Bassa County Senator Jonathan Kaipei and Liberia Ambassador to the People's Republic of China, D. McKinley Thomas, who the visitors to pay an impromptu visit on him. The Senate pro tempore during the meeting also paid tribute to the Chinese government for the many development projects being undertaken in the country, including the ongoing construction works at the Capitol building. Briefing the gathering, the head of the Chinese delegate, Mr. G. E. Yong, expressed interest in investing in Liberia. Mr. G. E. said Power China would like to invest in the energy sector, real estate, especially local housing construction among others. In the country. Power China is one of the largest energy companies in China. The Chinese delegation's tour of Liberia is a result of a visit made by the First Lady of Liberia, Madame Clara Mui and Grand Bassa County Senator Jonathan Kaipei, who participated in several meetings in China. Related posts Liberian procurement law blatantly violated in Eaton. June 29, 2018 Liberia, Senate concurs with House on passage of draft. June 28, 2018. Liberia, Eaton deal unraveling red flags construction. June 27, 2018. The Chinese delegation also on Tuesday, June 19, paid a courtesy visit on Liberia's First Lady Mrs. Clara Wee. The delegation represents six companies including China Energy, Power China, and Floxy supervision. In 2003, after the resumption of diplomatic relations with China, Liberia signed a joint declaration and a memorandum of understanding in which it once again recognized one China. Furthermore, on August 19, the same year, the Liberian Senate and House of Representatives each passed Resolution No. 001 of the 52nd Legislature which confirmed and reaffirmed total and unwavering commitment to the One China policy. This resolution made the new policy irreversible. Furthermore, the government of President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf reaffirmed its commitment to upholding the policy. Interestingly, all African countries, except Burkina Faso and Swaziland, uphold the One China policy. Except for 20 countries, the rest of world recognizes this policy. The One China Policy One China refers to the policy that there is only one state called China. As a policy, this means that countries seeking diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China PRC, must not recognize Taiwan as a country. The One China Policy is also not different from the One China Principle, which is the principle that insists both Taiwan and mainland China are inalienable parts of a single China. The policy states that Taiwan is part of the sacred territory of the People's Republic of China. It is the lofty duty of the entire Chinese people, including our compatriots in Taiwan, to accomplish the great task of reunifying the motherland.